Welcome to my channel. This video explains about the implementation of a 2 bit binary multiplier using Cadence Virtuoso. A 2 bit multiplier uses two operands and yields four partial products. The process for 2 bit multiplication is illustrated here. A0 and A1 are 2 bit operand, B0 and B1 is the second operand. When I perform the multiplication, first A0 will be multiplied with B0, then B1. We get the result A0, B0, A0, B1. Then A1 multiplied with B0, A1 multiplied with B1. These are the two results. Then you add that these are the partial product. Four partial products are obtained. First partial product and this addition of two results will give me another partial product including a carry. That carry has to be added to the final partial product to give fourth partial product. To complete this structure, I require four AND gates followed by two half adders and these are the two examples that are considered for illustration. For the design of a two bit multiplier, I have used the XOR gate followed by an AND gate. A half adder is formed by using the XOR and AND gate. Now, I will design a 2 bit multiplier as shown in this particular figure. For that, I have already created the designs of half adder. Get the instance of half adder. Two half adders are required and end gates rotate by using R. First partial product, second, total. 4 AND gates and 2 half adder as shown in the figure. The first AND gate from this is found by using A0, B0 and that is the first partial product. Set the output pin as P0. P0. Rotate it. Make the connection. Extend this to call them as A0 and B0. A0 followed by B0. Then the next partial product is obtained by addition of two product terms through the half adder. So two AND gates are used. In the design, this yields the partial product number 2 and as well as a carry because it is a half adder, it yields a carry. So the carry will act as an input to the another half adder.
connect this last half adder as input to the full adder then you obtain the two other partial products call them as p1 p2 p3 rotate them to change the direction or orientation p0 p1 p2 and p3 we'll get four partial products so first partial product is a0 b0 then you need to add a0 b1 a1 b0 add a0 b1 a0 and call this as b1 then a1 b0 already b0 is available call this term as b1 it is a1 a1 and these are two last observe that they are a1 b1 extend the line call this as a1 followed by b1 a1 b1 now we just make the required connections of ground and bdd connect the vdds for half adder also we have the vdd block connect this to vdd now you make the connection for ground pins ground up and and ground for another and ground of the half adder followed by the ground of the last half adder get the ground and vdc vdc let me place here change the properties to 1 volt provide the ground make the connection to the vdd similarly provide the ground connection since all these are connected to the ground circuit designing is completed now you need to provide the inputs a0 b0 a1 and b1 so i have provided the or taken the pulse as a input change see the object properties of the a0 duration is 
pulse width is 5 nanoseconds, period is 10 nanoseconds and voltage is 0 to 1. Similarly, the second input width is 10 nanoseconds and period is 20 nanoseconds. Similarly, for B0, it is 10 and 20. B1 is 20, 40. So once the required connections are made, check and save the design. There are no errors. Then go to the launch. ADEL. Choose the analysis as transient. I want to perform for 50 nanoseconds. Then select the operands, which are nothing but A0, B0, B1, followed by the partial products. P0, P1, P2 and P3. You have four inputs and four partial products. Click on OK. Analysis is completed. Then click on Netlist and run. Observe that when the input of operand A is 1 1 and B is 1 1, the partial product is 1 0 0 1. Let me change the graph properties. Try, try to observe that when all the inputs A0, A1, B0, B1, it is 1, 1, then the partial product will be 1, 0, 0, 1. This is shown here. Similarly, for 1, 1, 1, 0, you will get the in output partial products as 0, 1, 1, 0 here. So to verify this, press V and you can check the values. You can slide over the graph to verify the values. For each combination, it can be noted. The partial products are changed. 